I'll take a look where temperatures got down to this morning. We were at freezing Richland's Jacksonville area below freezing in Keenansville 34 in Kinston, and you can see how those temperatures warmed up as you got closer to the coast with some of that water helping to keep things warm at night. But it's kind of doing the opposite during the daylight hours here. A live look outside, nothing but blue skies in Greenville and also along the Crystal Coast with plenty of sunshine across the area for us this afternoon. You'll notice we're holding around 60 in Hatteras, Ocracoke area to mid 60s for inland. The land this time of year heats up quicker than the water, and that's why you saw those warmer temperatures during the overnight hours along the coast. But the cooler temperatures here during the daytime hours at the coast and just a light west northwesterly breeze across the area for us this afternoon. Nothing nearly as gusty as what we saw across the area the last couple days for us here. Sunny and pleasant. We'll add a couple more degrees from where we are right now. Get those temperatures upper 60s and low 70s. Not nearly as cold overnight tonight. We'll have some high level clouds that will be working their way on through the area. That and more of a light southwesterly breeze will help hold those temperatures up about 10 degrees warmer than where we were this morning. High pressure still across the Gulf Coast states in the deep south protecting us, basically keeping most of the action west of the Rockies. That high pressure will eventually start to slide offshore. There's some of those high level clouds working their way across the area for us late tonight, but again, nothing that would bring any rainfall. Those southwesterly winds start to pump that warmth into the neighborhood here. This will eventually be our next weather maker, but really it's not until later on on Friday night that we start to see any impacts from it. Even during the day on Friday, we'll just look for clouds to thicken up and increase. But that front will be working its way towards us here. You'll notice some of those scattered showers in here probably after sunset Friday night into the early morning hours on Friday or Saturday rather. And then for Saturday itself, that looks like that front kind of slides to the south. will dry out with a kind of variably cloudy skies here, only to have another wave of low pressure come back up along it and bring that front back towards us here as we head on in through the day on Sunday with again the chance for some scattered showers. Then after that, some real cold air starting to come back into the pattern for next week. So enjoy the above normal temperatures for us here the next several days. Again, you'll notice we're about 15 degrees above average for Thursday and Friday and still stay above average for the weekend in spite of the cloud cover and the showers. But notice next Tuesday temperatures for daytime highs only in the 50s, feeling more like January and February as opposed to May, which we're going to feel like the rest of this week.